everybody, Florida Bass Anglers here, and today I'm going to be going over a new lure by Bass Assassin. It is called the HPC Lure. Uh, that is literally the name of it, HPC. Um, here's the packaging for it. Um, I'm going to be going over the colors, the way to rig it, and, um, you know, some, some uh, info about them, I guess, uh, how they work, what they do. But anyway, here's the packaging, HPC new uh liquid it's got liquid salt by bass assassin um but anyway let me go over the colors here um with you <clears throat> this first color right here was actually um a color we got before the baits even came in they before they even hit the market before they were in even any real packaging um this is what we got um we actually got it from a guy who won a tournament he gave us a entire ziploc bag full a entire Ziploc bag so that means up to here full of these uh, HPC lures um, as you can tell I mean there's still quite a bit in here of just um, June bug that's this color June bug this is what he actually won the tournament on um, up on I want to say Lake Estapoca yeah Lake Estapoca for our uh, bass clubs um, uh, spring classic or like um our end of the year tournament you know the big tournament and uh anyway um that that's june bug a very popular color around south florida probably popular color around anywhere um if you have dirty water um this next color is um black blue shadow it's black on one side not one fleck no flex on this side and then Black, or blue with blue glitter on there with some silver with like three or four silver mixed in there um so that's the so that's that uh these baits are four inches long and they come in a six pack uh, a count of six in one pack this is the watermelon uh red it's black with um or it's got black flake, red flake, and a green overall body. So your standard watermelon color, great for clear water, great for probably um, if you've got grassy lakes. I'm sure you could rig this up on a um, on a uh, um, jig head and, and flip grass and whatnot um, up north with the watermelon color, or even down here. Um, these baits are also. Um, not salted they have liquid salt in them so if you throw these into the water they will sink no they never mind they will not sink um they they float um at all times uh so i'm thinking that you could even like carolina rig one of these um you can drop shot them it'd be a weird application for them but they're since they don't sink i could see something like that um you know, people, you know, want to try that out. It probably wouldn't hurt. Um, you just figure out as many applications you can use with this bait as possible. So anyways, the next color we were using was a uh, blueberry. Um, it's a black and blue. That's all it is. Um, it's black um, with blue um, flex in it. Um, very effective. I just went through four packages of them um, on Lake Okeechobee. Um, flipping bull rush and um, you know we didn't get into really big fish uh, but we did get into some fish we were on a constant flipping bite the whole entire day we probably caught well over 25 25 fish um, that day and uh, it was a good day but anyway the next color is a uh, I want to say it's purple let me find the package yeah it's black grape purple it's uh it's got a black overall like body to it but it's got a purple hue to it let's see if i can't block out the uh the sun here so if you can get no i don't think i'm gonna be able to but like on the arms right here on the underside they're purplish uh these claws on the bottom are purplish and if you hold it up to the light like i am right now you can really see purple i know you guys can't see that but uh Anyway, it's 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 a good dirty water bait. Um, we went to those uh, after we ran out of the blackberry. Um, I only had one blackberry left, and this one has actually been used before um, a couple times, it looks like. But anyway, the last color is green pumpkin. 
Um, green body with black flecks in it. Um, very standard, uh, good color. Oops. But anyway, um, we, we received these packages at our last tournament um, Sunday. A guy um, came in with a big box and he put it on the table and he said, separate these between the guys. And uh, I didn't get one color. Um, I forgot the black and red. They actually came out with like an ox blood kind of color. It, it's um, it's a black uh, bait with red flakes in it. It's pretty much just like the uh, the black and blue, except the blue flakes are replaced with red flakes. So they actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight colors out right now. Um, they have eight colors out, and um, they have nine colors. They have gold rush. Uh, Gold Rush is a June bug and gold, pretty much. Don't know how I forgot this one. This is a very popular color. Uh, June bug to gold. Um, but anyway, uh, these lures are probably um, best on the back of a medlock jig. Uh, that's what I hear a lot of guys throwing them on, um, is a medlock jig. When these baits sit on the bottom, they sit on like a, uh, like a football head or something. They'll sit upright. And these claws will actually, they'll float up, and they'll actually release bubbles from the ribs of these bodies. That's what these ribs do. They release bubbles, and they bubble up, they kind of fizz up, and that'll attract attention to the bait. Um, it's, a, it's a bulky bait. Uh, however, it's a soft, it's a really soft bait. Um how i don't know i'm not sure how they made it soft without adding any salt to it because i mean if you if you were to say you had to bite the head off of this you wouldn't taste any salt for some reason like it's they say it's liquid salt whatever that means but um the bait will not sink if it's uh weightless it um i'm sure if you put it on a weightless hook you could get it to sink but it's going to be really 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 slow um so just throwing the bait in the water like this is not going to, it's not going to sink. Um, I'm sure, um, I'm sure you guys can, uh, you know, figure out a couple more applications for them. Uh, but I was flipping them on a quarter ounce uh, tungsten head on a three-aught striking flipping hook with a, um, with a Halo uh, 711 Heavy and a Daiwa Tatula 7-3. to um, Gear ratio was 65-pound braid. I was flipping that. And uh, I had no problems. Um, really nice bait. Um, I like them. We're definitely going to be picking up more. Here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packages of them. Plus the four that I went through um, on the tournament day. So anyways, guys, if you did enjoy, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, it would be much appreciated. And guys, if you want me to do more lure reviews, go ahead and leave that down in the uh, comment section below. And uh, I can do... Pretty much anything um, as far as reviewing lures. Just, uh, you know, leave that comment down there and uh, I will see if I can get to it. And uh, definitely I will review them up. And um, anyways, this has been Florida Bass Anglers. And this was the review of the HPC Lures by Bass Assassin.